Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics. So today I'm going to be responding to the... Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I am going to today be responding to no other than the very famous vegan YouTuber known as Vegan Games. And the video I'm going to be responding to is this one here called Vegan Junk Food cheat day and i want to give you a, a rough idea of how he currently looks because he has been on a bulk for quite a while and on the right you can see he's got a lot of excess fat his skin isn't looking that good and he doesn't look that healthy overall compared to in the left picture and if you didn't know vegan gains has been vegan for around 10 years so he's been on this very malnourishing vegan diet that just makes people deteriorate especially when they do it long term so let's watch this video together and I will pause and respond when I feel it's necessary to do so. All right, what's going on everybody? So um, right now I'm heading over to a lab to get a blood test done. So I've been losing weight really rapidly. I've lost uh, about 20 pounds over the last four weeks and my family doctor is just a little worried that it, you know, might disrupt my electrolyte balance. Um, so basically this blood test is just to test electrolytes. Uh, I also asked her to do a lipid panel, uh, just because I'm interested to see uh, what my LDL and total cholesterol and everything is. Um, so hopefully I'll have the uh, test results in the next few days. I know a lot of people have been asking to see my blood work, so... Um, yeah, hopefully in the next few days I'll have those uh, results back and then I can just do a video on it. It's uh, below freezing right now and I'm staying out of the bike lane because it's filled with ice and snow. So I'm just trying to uh, take it easy right now. So if you didn't know already, just in case you think that he's sick, he's actually been on a calorie deficit diet known as cutting, which bodybuilders do to lose any excess weight so you can get down to a lower body fat All right, percentage. So the lab is over on the right, uh, but there's a good bicycle lockup on the left uh, outside of a health food store. So we're going to lock up there. So yeah, he's been on the bulking diet to gain weight where you eat in excess of calories. It makes you gain a lot of fat, which is not good, some muscle as well, and water weight. And then what they do is they go on these cheat days where they binge on such absolute crap which makes your blood pressure go up. It has so many negative effects. It's not good at all. Not good for your heart, not good for your mind, your body. I don't know how long I'm going to have to wait, so I brought two locks, my U-lock and a chain just to be safe. 20 minutes later. All right, so just finished uh, getting my blood drawn. Um, I'm not a big fan of needles, but that time I didn't even feel the needle going in, which was nice. I'm um, interested to see... Damn, I forgot my bike key. I'm interested to see uh, what the results are like. Because um, I've been eating very, very clean for the last uh, month, so... Should have relatively good results. And yeah, switching between bulking and cutting is just not a good thing in any way, shape or form. It's an eating disorder. Instead, just to eat high quality foods that give you everything you need that makes you feel amazing. And it can keep you a I'm healthy body I'm making a life. quick kind of breakfast-ish snack. So this is a seitan loaf. That's like the whole loaf. I'm just gonna have yeah. like a quarter of it right now. I think Gustav? Yeah, Gusto or Gusto. I can't remember the brand name. So let's go and look at Gusta, shall we? So I did some research. This is Gusto Satan roast that he is now cooking up, which is pretty much just pure wheat protein with canola oil, which is a refined oil that is not good for you whatsoever. Yeast extract, all these seasonings, and then it's had to have sugar and all this other stuff added to it to make it taste really good. Try and have seitan without all the other crap added to it and i'm telling you it's not going to taste good at all so it's just a refined toxic garbage food and guess what it can cause things such as mental health issues gastrointestinal issues which he has been suffering with depression from what i am aware of on and off 
for a very long time. So even if you're doing a cheat day, I wouldn't be recommending that because it's gonna make you feel like absolute garbage. Why not just eat healthy foods on a regular basis that actually meet all your calorie needs and then you don't feel the need to go and do these stupid, unhealthy, dangerous cheat days. Uh, they make these, uh, these seitan loaves, they're really good. Not exactly the healthiest thing for you, but they taste good. And that's all that really matters. Yeah, all that really matters is it tastes good, because, yeah, it seems that you don't really care if you feel bad. It's only for one day, but still, it's not going to make you feel good for your mental health and overall physical health and functioning. Hello, chicken. Here's chicken. Chicken's getting her noms, too. I thought vegans don't own any animals. Hmm, maybe Vegan Gains isn't truly actually vegan. It was never vegan. All right, we just went over to Kelly's Bake Shop, which is a vegan, gluten-free bakery. So it's gluten-free, it's all healthy, of course. <laughs> um, we got a lot of crap, um, but I want to take a nap. I'm dead tired. I didn't sleep. There we are. Put it in your mouth. Tell us how it tastes. With or without chocolate? Uh -huh. If it's gluten-free, it's healthy. So many people believe that they eat processed garbage. I used to be someone that was on a complete like gluten-free diet. It was one of the first things I did when switching up my diet years ago. But just because it's gluten-free doesn't mean it's healthy whatsoever, unlike what Vegan Games believes. Any good? Yeah, really good. Yeah, so today's a refeed day. Uh, normally my refeed days are like really sensible. I just... With or without chocolate? Uh. Any good? Yeah, really good. Yeah, so today's a refeed day. Uh, normally my refeed days are like really sensible. I just eat clean, no junk food, but uh, been dieting for four weeks. I've pushed it like to the absolute limit. I was just so drained in every way uh, this week, so I'm just taking a break and I'm just eating whatever I want today. really sensible I just eat clean no junk food but uh been dieting for four weeks I've pushed it like to the absolute limit I was just so drained in every way uh, this week so I'm just taking a break yeah no wonder why you're taking a break you're doing something that's so extreme for the body making it lose weight very fast in an unhealthy way and because you've been in such a calorie deficit for ages it's creating an eating disorder within you so you are binge eating and do you hear his voice he doesn't sound happy at all. He doesn't sound like he's energized and that he's vibrant and alive. I actually feel really sorry for him. He sounds like he's just not happy within himself whatsoever. It's like, come on, man. Like, this vegan diet is not good for you. And I'm just eating whatever I want today. Okay, um, broccoli is right there. Is there a better, bigger bag of broccoli? That's just Brussels sprouts. Yeah, I'd say just get that bag of broccoli there. She doesn't look happy either. Go to Costco. Yeah, I'll just go to Costco later to get their big bag. And he says he normally sensibly eats, but obviously that carrot deficit got to him so much that he's gone on this crazy bad binge. Oh my god. Why don't you give him a brownie or a cookie there? Just one. So these gluten-free things that he thinks so healthy, let's go and look, see how healthy it is. Oh wow, it says it's plant-based, gluten-free, peanut-free, dairy-free, egg-free, vegan. Oh, it must be so good for you then. At least to a normal person that doesn't know much about nutrition, would think that's good for you. And it said there's no peanuts in it, it's made in a nut-free facility, and they do all these different things. So he got one of these chocolate chip cookies, it's got organic apple sauce chocolate chips, it's got sugar in it. They say they don't use standard white sugar, but they do use organic cane sugar and coconut sugar, which a lot of people think, well, they are healthy sugars. It's still a processed sugar that will have a negative effect on your insulin and blood sugar level production. It's just not good at all. And the other one he got is this skinny cookie, which he says are cane sugar free and flourless cookie. So this one has no sugar in, which is better than the other one. Made with roasted bananas, rolled oats, and sunflower seed butter there, and made with chocolate chips or without. You decide. And if you look into all of those things, they all contain an abundance of phytates, which binds to the minerals, make it harder to actually digest. 
and they have a negative effect on people's mental health and digestion holistically and it actually has a negative effect on your overall assimilation of other nutrients from food so it's just like poor man's food it's like why would you want to be eating things like that and the other thing he is eating is this mile high brownie which look at all that caramel sauce just full of sugar then that cream's going to be full of sugar and it's just all these powdered grains man and they're using sorghum flour which is a grain and they use two different bean flours like man you're asking for gas and bloating maybe even constipation or diarrhea or a combination of the two it looks tasty but definitely not something i would recommend someone consumes oh and i almost forgot to mention as well they use organic as much as possible which a lot of people think if saying it's organic then it must be good for you which is complete load of garbage it still is junk food that's not good for people whatsoever oh my god he's got a good growl <laughs> and they have a dog as well what the hell it looks like one that's come from a breeder that's something surely vegans don't contribute to you're so strong Wow. Okay. What? You know I'm filming, right? Uh -huh. uh. <sighs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to say your thing, but... He looks like a zombie. Like, he looks like he has no life force whatsoever. Like, I thought he looked bad earlier on. But as you can see, he's getting progressively worse throughout the video because he's eating more and more garbage. This is not self-love. This is self-abuse. Like, just eat like healthy foods maybe eat some animal foods that are really satiating that are really good for you and you wouldn't need to eat these other foods because it'd be nourishing you in a way and giving you exactly everything you need and way more protein than on this vegan diet so then you can maximize your muscle growth and your gains overall and just feel the best that you could feel rather than having this flip-flop from like restricting like crazy and then binging like crazy it doesn't make any sense to me what thing i'm just eating oh and i'm tired yeah, I can imagine. Time for a nap. I'd need a nap after all that crap. Your are pretty good. You're laying down really weird. No. The one healthy thing, raspberries. What's weird about it? I don't know. It looks weird. You're weird. Uh. Man, <laughs> he needs some help. Poor guy, man. I feel sorry for him. You haven't had junk food in a while. It tastes really fucking good. It's so sugary. I can't eat longer for like two bites and I have to take a break. Yeah, it tastes so good. Because I'm not used to it anymore. Because they made it so addictive. Even his girlfriend finds it too much. Switching to thin. Yeah, you've seen food addicts go crazy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so now... I'm going to make some uh, soy curls. So this has been marinating for a few hours now. And I just marinated these soy curls in teriyaki. So this should taste pretty damn good. Looks like dog food. <laughs> Alright, so here are my soy curls. And um, they're teriyaki flavored. I think I already said that. Instead, just get some meat and make some shredded beef or some shredded pork. And if you look into the brand that he's using, these soy curls, all they are is soy curls that are made from certified non-GMO whole soybeans. Oh, not made from GMO soybeans. So it must be so good for you. Not. It will mess up your hormone production. And it's just like, oh my God, it's just not a food designed for humans whatsoever. I wouldn't even feed that to a dog. That just needs to go in the trash can. It's, oh, mate. But it's super high protein, so surely it must be good. And he's vegan as well. But uh, these taste really good. I bet it does taste a lot better with all of that garbage that you've put on it. But to be honest, I bet if I tried it, it would be like, ugh, just throw that away. Mm, those are good. I like a lot of sauce in my pizza. I also don't like cheese. Not a cheese fan. Kind of just tastes like goop. Not the good kind of goop I make, just nasty goop. So pure refined grains again with just tomatoes, like, well, tomato sauce even. It's just like, ugh, oh, just, ugh, oh, 
Jesus, you just want to go to the next level with messing yourself up. It's like, seriously, anyone that really cares about how they feel would just not do this. They would just eat healthy foods, actually give them what they need. The vegan cheese we just got taste a lot better than goop. I never like cheese. I never really like cheese on pizza. I think it's time for a divorce now. <laughs> that looks so Dragon unappetizing. Nice sweet sauce, then like gross fatty, oily cheese. I want to make a pizza That's too. Just me, yeah, you need to add a lot to that base. Just I it doesn't taste like garbage. That's a lot of sauce. Now, I've got some uh, vegan pepperoni here, gusta. So again, this Gusta stuff. So let's go and have a look and see what this is. So it's pretty much the same as the other Gusta seitan roast that he had at the start where he looked like he's making like pancake type of thing. It's full of canola oil and so much garbage. So again, just so much gluten, 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 except from those gluten-free cakes. It's like, oh man, the next day he is going to be suffering. And he's already suffering like crazy now. It's like, come on, man, just stop. This is not good. And I've also got um, the seitan loaf from the oh. still. So I'm going to make like a meat lover's pepperoni meat seitan pizza. Not a meat lover pizza. <laughs> Fake bad ripoff. Man. Also got some shiitake mushrooms. This is the level of Richard's cooking skills, by the way. That doesn't go much further than this. Yeah, and I'm good at other skills. things. At least it's not gross crap like rotten grains like Frank Tafano eats. So. I mean, you. Ha! <laughs> oh my God! The stuff you're eating is absolutely rotten. It must taste like cardboard. Like really. Just eat some animal-based foods in their whole form. It'd be way better than what you're eating now. Can't That's go something. grosser than that. Yeah. No, this is grosser than that. So I'd say I'm a better cook than Frank. It's a reason. I don't think you're off. a cook for putting jar uh, meat in a jar. Well, still, there's a reason he got kicked off of Master Chef. Damn it! I dropped the mushrooms. Don't cut your fingies. And uh, putting on some of these pickled banana peppers too. There we are. <sighs> Perfect pizza. Perfect Just pizza. forgetting cheese, but that's a... Try your goddamn chestnut. See how enjoyable First that is. First time for him. He's never had one. Mmm. <laughs> Doesn't look impressed. Yummy, yummy. It's like a flavorless carrot. Yeah, I bet it is. That's why so many nuts on a vegan diet are pretty much all of them are made into things like nut cheese and various other things to make it taste nice and they have to add loads of garbage to it. You're watching someone that is literally over a period of time like making themselves deteriorate in such a rapid way that they are just going to be shortening their maximum lifespan and just their overall way of life this is not a high level way of life where he's just living life to the fullest he just feels well it just seems to me that he is just like pushing through and surviving in life it's just like, oh man what no it isn't yeah it's a home that's what it tastes like to me <laughs> seriously so you don't like it Yeah, it's like a flavorless carrot. Don't really like it. You're weird. Yeah, I think I baked this for a little too long. Cardboard with tomato sauce on top and just so much gluten and some vegetables that are going to give you pretty much no goodness whatsoever. I bet this is just like, oh man, probably cardboard would taste better in my opinion than this. You think? It's only a little burnt on the bottom. After Richard had eaten his pizza he went to the bathroom to poop. Pooping made him feel tired so he brushed his teeth, went to bed and lived happily ever after. Oh, I bet he had to go to bed after going to the toilet. That must have been like an absolute bomb that went off. And in the toilet and inside his gut and he pretty much has knocked himself out with food so he couldn't feel many further. It's like, oh man, please look after yourself. And a lot of people follow people like this and actually want to do what they're doing. 
it's just like, oh man, it's just not a good thing to be doing at all. And there's those rabbits again. Look at them, munching away on kale. More like what they're designed for rather than us humans. So that's it from me on this video. Leave your questions down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. So enjoy the rest of your day. Catch you on the flip side. Peace.